welcome to the first Browns playoff victory Monday that we Cleveland fans can actually celebrate with each other online without having to go into an AOL chat room. Now, we're obviously all still processing this, and to be honest, I'm not entirely convinced that I'm not currently asleep, perhaps due to a slow gas leak in my home, and that this isn't all a creation of my oxygen-deprived brain. The reality is that my long dormant Browns just beat the Steelers in their own house and are currently marching through the playoffs, so now it's on to our next opponent, which is, oh geez, that's not great. Doesn't matter. Why worry about the future when we can celebrate the immediate past? But to be honest, I'm a little out of practice at celebrating meaning Browns postseason wins since the last time it happened I was still in Boy Scouts and in a fascinating role reversal the Steelers and their fan base seem just as bewildered about how to react to their new role as the defeated. If you go online you can actually see that they're currently working through the famed Kubler-Ross five stages of grief. For example Juju Smith-Schuster is apparently in the denial stage after having unloaded some fairly harsh smack talk on the Browns prior to the game that many speculate was a big motivating factor. Despite this in his post game rather than acknowledge the mistake, Schuster said, I don't regret what I said. Even if you're cool with it, I'll bet your teammates might wish you wouldn't have poked the bear like that. Otherwise, they might not be experiencing the depression stage of grieving. Oh, and hey, who's that? Someone grabbed a picture of you sitting there probably thinking about how much you don't regret saying what you said about the Browns. For the most part, the Steelers fan base seems pretty locked into the anger stage of grief, with some handling it worse than others. Mm. I Ironically, that tantrum will likely transition this sturdy fan directly into the bargaining stage when he takes that TV back to Best Buy and tries to convince them that it came out of the box like that. Look, I know I'm in no position to throw stones or judge fans for how they choose to react to difficult losses. I got so mad at my team once, I went downtown and yelled at an empty building for an hour. Well, thank God we built you. And in a way, it's got to be even harder for Pittsburgh fans than for us because they're not used to losing. So this is all new to them. Say what you will about the Browns since 99, but you can't say they haven't prepared us for life's minor disappointments. That's why so many of us have arrived at this final stage of grief, acceptance, a long time ago. Losing's a part of life, almost exclusively for us for quite some time, but as it turns out, things do eventually get better. And I am a realist. I know very well that we're not gonna beat Pittsburgh every time we play them moving forward, but I think we might just have ourselves the makings of a good old-fashioned rivalry again, whether some people are ready for that or not. Do yourselves a favor and enjoy the ride, folks. Keep rolling, and go Browns.